You're watching Chaotic TV. Hey guys, and welcome back to Chaotic TV. We are in game six between Karen 3 Esports and Millennium. Uh, Karen 3 Esports is winning right now, three to two, and we are in the on Neo Planet S in the bottom left. We have the blue Zerg player, formerly of Karen 3 Esports. It is Vortex. Someone's lagging. And his opponent. It's not me this time. His opponent, the Red Protoss player, uh, winning that last game with some good proxy oracle damage, uh, killing a lot of economy, and then just uh, hitting a strong attack afterwards. This is Millennium's Adle Scott. I wonder where that name come from, because every time I hear it pronounced that way, I think of Adle Minded, and that's just not a good descriptor for a StarCraft II player. Also, heard it pronounced as Adele, which just reminds me of a terrible music. All right. I forgot that she was a <laughs> pop singer. I don't keep up with that. I don't think I've listened to the radio in about a decade. Not since I was in high school, and I had to. Uh, thank God for Pandora. I use Last.fm myself, but to each his own. I'm curious to see what these two players are going to do. Adele Scott doing a decent proxy in the last game for Oracle's not so great against Zerg because Queens last for a lot longer than Marines do against oracles and uh probably gonna see the uh the gateway expand here or rather cyberx car expand uh, you think he's gonna go for another nexus before he techs up or is he just gonna be uh teching and then go for a nexus like we saw vipro do i think the normal play here is uh to get the nexus up after the cyberx core but you might do something a little different with uh, this assimilator coming in now, and a bunch of chat because of the lag. And go. And I need that production tab for all the viewers out there. Sorry guys. Uh, warp gate coming in. I was wondering why I wasn't seeing anything. It's this new sexy it's overlay. Like, God, no one's doing anything. <laughs> you still have to remember to put it's it the there. worst professional players ever. The thing about it is, in this new overlay in the top left, there's not that none tab that says you don't have any anything displayed, and uh, so I so have I didn't. No idea. Know I haven't seen your overlay. No, no, no. Like in the in the standard overlay, that in the top left, there's a the none yeah, I know pull down what you're talking thing. About. I'm looking at it. <laughs> I don't, I'm look, I'm not using the overlay, mother. All right, Nexus is the <laughs> Nexus comes down. We don't have a, a robotics bay or facility yet. Come on, I cannot speak tonight. And the hatchery's up. He's actually banking a bunch of gas here. He wants to get these zerglings out before he shows his tech. Gonna make him sacrifice an overlord to see. What are zergling and speed there it versus is the Stargate? Oh, he sees it anyway. Because that zergling took a left turn. Yeah, Zerglings apparently do 2.9 movement speed against the Sentry's 2.25 and can outrun a Sentry. And this Zealot can't do anything about it. That's just really funny. <laughs> the plight of the Zealot. I don't know if you've watched StarCrafts or not, but that Zealot is always getting shit. <laughs> I love those. those Guys, if you want to check out something funny and introduce people to StarCraft in a really fun way, check out youtube.com slash carbotanimations or just Google StarCrafts. Although that probably won't get you anywhere close to it. Um, we do have a wall in coming actually in for does. Adele Scott. It does? Is he really that popular that he's Googled that much? We oh, have I search YouTube for StarCrafts. He's got a little bit too many workers. Oh, there he's fixing it. I'm going to say a little too many workers in his main and not enough in his natural, but... Weeding them out a bit now. Roachworm coming down. Let's That's see. St. Virtue. We see Vortex taking to Lair. Uh, getting the rest of his gases on two bases, on lethal chambers. Um, let's see a two base Roach Hydro type play here. Yeah, I think he. You think he's still banking on versus that uh, Stargate play because he still sees it warping in, but it was canceled by oh. um, Adele Scott. That sneaky tech switch. Yeah, and this Phoenix is going to make him think it's to get a for real. Console. If he can get out before this Phoenix dies then he won't know it's a hallucination. But he's not going to, and now he knows it was a hallucination and that was a possibility of a tech switch. <laughs> or if he doesn't shoot anything. And here comes the sacrificial overlord. Yep, he saw uh, it. Looks like with movement speed. 
he started it right, moving right after he saw that it was a hallucination. He probably could have hit it a lot better, but had there actually been a Stargate coming out, there would have been an attack by air units. Wow, stutter stepping. He got he got a uh, overlord speed here to just to scout. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And probably to run his produce a creep highway. He's probably used his uh would have used that overlord to move away from any phoenixes that were coming in to chase the overlords across the map. That said, this is a pretty incredible creep sped coming across the map. This Focusing is focusing more on going around the top. This is the second time we've seen Zergs sacrifice an overlord to do a scout and then become supply blocked from it and then have to start overlords afterwards. It's like they don't plan on scouting it and then they do and then they're like, oh crap, I didn't build overlords. But that's the second one that's happened to it tonight. It's it's not the worst thing in the world for a Zerg to be supply blocked at this point. Uh, the only time you don't want to be supply blocked is trying to reinforce an attack. Uh, other than that, it's not so damaging because you bank you bank your production as opposed to having constant production. This third being scouted for Adele Scott is mean means that if he puts a whole lot of probes on that line and um, freaking Vortex, that's the name of our Spanish player, goes and goes ahead and attacks it, then all of the money that he put into those probes is going to be kind of wasted if this third is sniped. But it doesn't See, look like uh, Vortex is going to be doing that. He's already switching into Hydras, and he's getting a whole ton of upgrades See, against the one. And plus one charge. missile attacks, uh, roach speed, glow reconstitution, groove spines, muscular augmentations, uh, gun carapace. So he's just completely upgrading this roach hydra arm. He's kind of gonna, gonna invest his all his eggs in one basket, I guess you could call it. He wants his ground army to win, and it's gonna. It's going to be met with Sizetor, but not Colossus quite yet, so as long as he spreads efficiently and he'll be able to fight this army pretty well. These Hydras are going to do great damage against the Zealot um, sentry composition we see right here. A couple size storms would really hurt them, but not as much as Colossi would against these uh, Hydras, and they are still kind of slow. They don't have their, their muscular augments yet, and so they can't kite. But decent force fields Very are what soon. you need against them. Ooh. There's the reinforcements came in just in time to override this. Here. Keep your keep Good your roaches back. Fields, uh, splitting the army up. Uh, hey. Those roaches aren't even taking any damage though, because the zealots were running away. As I said, this third base is going to be attacked. Oh, great storm, but Ooh, not good enough. A few roaches in. This Actually, damaging of some storm. of those Ooh. some of those zealots. That's also a, a nice time soul there. I'm more brother. Oh! Walks the High Templar into the Hydras. But they don't do so well in melee range. Roaches and roaches and roaches coming in. The muscular augments are done, so they can be kiting against these Archons. The Zealots are moving in, but so are the probes. Yep. And anytime you see probes fighting an army, you know it's a bad spot to be in. Yep, 12 have died so far. This Mothership Corps is in dire straits if there were more Hydras, but uh, as I was halfway through that sentence, that I realized there aren't that many. kill it eventually. Roaches uh, are being taken out by the Submortal. I think you just realized that there's only one Hydra there and decided to use the Immortals for some effect, but now it's overrun. And I think there's just too many Zerg units here. Uh, this may be the end here for Adel Scott. Yep, Hydra production has stopped. He's pure Roaches. Now, as I say that, four Hydras are begun, but this one Immortal is not going to be enough to stop him. The Sentry's mo pushed in, but the Force Field is a bit too late. That Immortal is going to yeah. be too shotted, and even the Pylons and there. And another Mineral Line decimated, and good game. Vortex taking the fourth game for Counter 3 Esports, taking the score 4 2 against Millennium. We're going to move on to Newkirk Precinct against Millennium's ace player, 4GG. He's going to be back for a second shot at taking his team to victory. Thanks very much for watching, guys. This was Game 6. We're moving into Game 7 in just a second. From Chaotic TV, I am KO. And this is Eclipse. I'll see you soon.